Hi everyone, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. So in the last video, we have generated the token. Now we need to store the generated token to our backend server. And in this case, I am using Firebase as my backend. So I am going to use Firebase real-time database to store the token that we generated. But we have a little problem. For example, we have three devices where our application is installed. Now every device has its own registration token. So how we are going to store the registration token for devices and how we are going to identify the token that this token is for this device. So the point is we also need to implement authentication. For example, we will generate a unique authentication ID for this device, for this as well and for this as well. And inside that ID, we will store the registration token. So what I am saying is we need to implement authentication if we want to save the registration token to the backend server. Now here I am going to use Firebase authentication. So let's do it. Okay. So in this video, we will learn implementing authentication in our application. So this main activity would be our login activity or you can say sign up activity as well. I will handle both the cases in the same activity just for the sake of simplicity. So the first thing that we need is we need to create a login form. So let me do it very quickly. So now we don't need this text view and this text view. And delete it here as well. Now go to the activity main XML and here you need to design a login form. Now you can play with the design, but this is only an example. So I will make it quick. So guys, this is our login or registration form. We can, we will perform both the tasks from here only. So come to main activity.java and we will define the objects for these edit text and buttons and progress bar. So we have two edit texts. And we have a button and we actually do not need to create object of button. So we need progress bar only. Now let's initialize everything. So we have progress bar equals to find view by id r dot id dot progress bar. Then we have edit text email equals to find view by id r dot id dot edit text email and same for the password. And I press control D to copy the line. Okay. So we have edit text email, edit text password. Now what we will do, we will create an on click listener r dot id dot button sign up and we will add an on click listener. Actually it is set on click listener. Sorry. And then new and on click listener. So we have the on click listener. Now here we will perform either login or sign up. So first we will try creating a user in Firebase. But before doing this, what we need to do is we need to add Firebase authentication. And to do this, uh, go to tools and select Firebase and select authentication, then email and password and our application is already connected. We just need to add Firebase authentication to our application. And to do this, we need to copy this thing. Copy it. Okay, go to build.gradle. And here, 
we will add the firebase authentication so we have implementation and then firebase version remember i had told you that we have to use the same version of firebase for all the firebase services so same version for messaging and same version for authentication now sync it and come back to main activity dot java and here we will create a method a user or we can like create user fine now let's define this method here private void create user now first we will get the email and password so edit text email dot get text dot to string dot trim and same for the password and actually we do not have a firebase auth 17.3.3 so what you will do in this case is you need to search firebase auth version and let's check what is the latest version available so for the authentication we have 16.0.4 and for messaging we have 17.3.4 so let's use this version everywhere so we will change the version to sixteen dot o dot four let's try again and we don't have messaging for sixteen dot o dot four actually in this case we can use a different version so let's make it firebase messaging version and we will define an auth version And let's use firebase auth version and firebase messaging version then try again so it is fine now now come back to main activity dot java and we have email and password now if you want you can add the validations like if email is empty then we will set error like email required and we will request the focus and we will stop the further execution and we will do the same thing for password and one more thing is important that many people do wrong while doing firebase authentication and they will comment that it is not working the password should be of at least six characters so i am going to add this validation as well so if password length is less than six then we will do the same thing password should be at least six care long so we have added the validations now if it passes all the validation we will perform the user sign up or we will create a user in firebase console and creating a user in firebase console is very easy what we need is we need a firebase authentication object so we will define it here for private firebase auth m auth then we will initialize this object here m auth equals to firebase auth dot get instance now we have our auth object now here we will write m auth dot create user with email and password now this method takes two parameters the first parameter is the email and the next parameter is the password then we will add an on complete listener and then we have our on complete listener now to do this what i did is inside the parenthesis i return new then i pressed control and space and i selected this thing okay now this on complete method will be executed 
if the sign up is complete whether it is successful or not but this method will be executed on the completion of this create user with email and password so first we will display the progress bar here set visibility visible and go to activity main and make the visibility of this progress bar or we can do it here let's say progress bar set visibility let's say invisible so we will display the progress bar here then we are creating user with email and password when the task is complete we will hide the progress bar or we will not hide it here just wait okay what we will do we will check if the task is successful so if task is successful so when the user is created successfully that means the user is logged in the user is created we can go to the next activity the profile activity or whatever you call it so here we will start the profile activity so for starting the profile activity i will create a separate method private void start profile activity and we also need one thing which is a new activity so right click on your package go to activity select empty activity and let's create profile activity fine now come back to main activity java and here we will create an intent so we have intent intent equals to new intent first parameter the current context and the next parameter is the activity that we want to open so we have profile activity dot class now when we will start this intent and we will start the profile activity we don't want user to come back to this main activity when back button is pressed so the profile activity will be started as a fresh activity and for this we need to add some flags on our intent so we will write intent dot add flags and we need two flags the first flag is flag activity new task and the next flag is flag activity clear task so we need these two flags then we will call start activity and we will pass the intent so we have the method that will start the profile activity upon successful registration or login so if the task is successful that means the registration is successful so what we will do we will start the profile activity if the task is not successful that means there is some error but there might be an error of the user is already exist on the firebase with the provided email so in that case we need to log in the user okay so here we will check the error so if task dot get exception is an instance of user collision so if it is an exception of firebase auth user collision exception that means the email provided is already exist in the database if the exception is something else we will display the error message so let's display using a toast and main activity dot test and we will get the error message from the task object get exception dot get message then the length of the toast and then show and here we will hide the progress bar if the exception is a firebase auth user call is an exception we will call the method user login and here we will log in the user so let's do it private void user login again we will do the same thing or we can simply pass the email or password so pass email and password and let's add the email and password to user login method we have email and password now we will do the same thing mauth dot sign in with email and password we will pass the email and the password and then we will add an on complete listener and here if the task is successful we will start the profile activity else we will hide the progress bar and we will display the toast message so i will copy it from here 
and we have the message bingo it is fine now we can try running it so let's do it so let's run our application and one more thing that i forget you need to go to your firebase console and go to authentication and then from the sign in method you need to enable this email and password this is very important or else or else it will not work so email password sign in is enabled the application is here let's try so i will write an email let's say probelal3 at the rate gmail.com and let's say one two three four five six is the password click on sign up we are getting the progress bar and the profile activity is open if you go to the users you will see probelal3 at the rate gmail.com here so it is working absolutely fine guys and don't worry you can get the source code from the link that is given in the description of this video so if you liked this video give me a thumbs up if you didn't like if you didn't like it give me a comment that what i should do to improve so that's all for this video friends please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel Thank you guys, this is Bilal Khan signing off.